In the early hours of September 19, 1976, a series of inexplicable events unfolded in the skies above Tehran in Iran. What started as a routine investigation by the Imperial Iranian Air Force quickly transformed into a breathtaking encounter with an unidentified flying object. Multiple witnesses, including experienced pilots and civilians, were left awestruck by the object's extraordinary maneuvers and its dazzling display of lights. Join us as we delve into the captivating details of the Tehran UFO incident, examining the testimonies, military involvement, and subsequent investigations that have baffled researchers for decades. As the city of Tehran slumbered, a shining object illuminated the night sky, catching the attention of at least four civilians. Intrigued by the reports, Lieutenant Yadi Naziri and his backseat weapons officer were dispatched in air for Phantom II jet interceptor to investigate. However, upon reaching Tehran, Naziri experienced a complete loss of instruments and communications. Faced with this unexplained phenomenon, they decided to return to base, only to have Naziri's instruments functioning again once they were away from the object. Undeterred by the strange occurrence, Major Parviz Jaffrey, a squadron commander, and First Lieutenant Halal Damarian were sent in a second for Phantom II to intercept the object. Jaffrey acquired radar lock on an object about 27 nautical miles away, roughly the size of a Boeing Cone 35 Strata tanker. As he closed in, Jaffrey was mesmerized by the object's intense lights flashing with vivid red, green, orange, and blue hues that were so blinding he couldn't see its body clearly. Astonishingly, his plane's communication system suddenly shut off, and his attempts to fire an aiming sidewinder infrared guided missile were futile. In an unexpected turn of events, Jaffrey witnessed a smaller object emerging from the primary one, hurtling toward him at high speed. However, as he tried to engage, all his weapons control panel, instruments, and the radio ceased functioning. Eventually able to communicate with their traffic control, Jaffrey received orders to return to base. During his journey back, he witnessed the primary object, described as diamond-shaped, and another bright object descending and gently landing on the ground, emitting a radiant light. The next day, Jaffrey and Damirian flew by helicopter to the presumed crash site but found no evidence of the light that hit the ground, only hearing accounts from nearby residents of a loud noise and a bright flash of light. News of the Terran UFO incident spread rapidly, capturing international attention and prompting investigations from experts in various fields. Scientists, military officials, and government agents delved into the incident eager to unravel its mysteries. Analysis of photographs and videos taken by witnesses provided additional evidence, showcasing the unusual characteristics of the UFO. Experts scrutinized the images for signs of tampering, but no such evidence was found, bolstering the authenticity of the visual documentation. Radar data from Tehran's Merabad airport further corroborated the witnesses' accounts. Multiple radar blips aligned with the reported sightings, demonstrating the presence of an unidentified object in the vicinity during the events of that night. The blips displayed extraordinary speed and maneuvers, defying conventional aircraft capabilities. Psychological evaluations of the witnesses ruled out mass hysteria or hallucinations, affirming their credibility. Each individual remained steadfast in their accounts, unaffected by the passage of time or external influences. In-depth interviews with the witnesses unveiled the profound impact the encounter had on their lives. Many experienced persistent physiological and psychological effects, such as anxiety, sleep disturbances, and a heightened sense of curiosity about the unknown. The Iranian government took notice of the incident and initiated an official investigation. A special committee was formed, consisting of military officials, scientists, and intelligence officers.
Their task was to gather as much information as possible and determine the nature of the unidentified object. While the government's investigation progressed, rumours began to circulate. Some speculated that the UFO was of extraterrestrial origin, while others proposed alternative theories such as secret military experiments or advanced foreign technology. However, the committee remained focused on gathering concrete evidence to support their findings. The committee's investigation included interviewing the witnesses, analyzing the radar data, and examining the physical effects experienced by the pilots. They concluded that the incident was indeed an encounter with an unidentified flying object, dismissing conventional explanations. Despite the committee's findings, the Tehran UFO incident remained shrouded in mystery. The Iranian government opted to keep the details classified, possibly due to concerns about national security and potential implications. This decision fueled speculation and conspiracy theories, amplifying the intrigue surrounding the incident. Over the years, researchers and UFO enthusiasts have scrutinized the Tehran incident seeking additional information and possible explanations. Some argue that the event was a genuine extraterrestrial visitation, citing the witnesses' credible testimonies and the radar data as evidence. Others propose that the UFO was a result of secret military experimentation or advanced technology beyond our current understanding. The Tehran UFO incident continues to captivate researchers and the public alike, inspiring countless discussions and investigations. It serves as a reminder that we are not alone in the vast cosmos and that there are still phenomena that defy explanation. The incident also highlights the need for further scientific exploration and open-mindedness when encountering unexplained events.